everybody, welcome to Ambitions Gymnastics. Uh, today we are doing our very first advanced jumping jacks class. Um, so these classes are aimed at children who have maybe doing, been doing beginner gymnastics for a little while, probably around the seven to 10 year old age range, um, have, have developed the basic skills so can comfortably do a forward roll um, uh, while on their way to getting a backward roll. Bridges are quite come quite naturally to them now um, and so so we're, we're just sort of refining those skills and building on those as we go. Um, obviously we are in a home setting um, with not very much equipment so we are limiting what we do in terms of our gymnastic skills. We, do, we want primarily our members to be safe um, so we're going to be working on some technique stuff um, and looking at other ways in which we can improve our gymnastics so that when we do get back to the gymnastics hall, um, we're ready and raring to go with some really great foundations and some good skills moving forward. All right, boys, boys and girls, so today in today's class, we are going to be doing um, an active warm up. We're going to be doing some stretches. We're going to be doing our splits and our bridges. Um, and then we're going to be doing some rotations um, and we'll finish off with some strength and conditioning. So if you're ready, we'll get going. Um, make sure you've got a drink handy, make sure you've moved all of your furniture around the way, out of the way, and if you've got a parent handy um, or somebody to watch just to make sure that you're safe, that would be great. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. Now you've got everything set up, um, we're going to start with our active warm up. So what we're gonna do is some running, skipping, jumping activities, and then we're gonna stop and we're gonna do a, um, a muscle warm up or body part warm up stretch, okay? So um, it's all very, very self-explanatory. If you just copy what I'm doing, um, it, it'll be easy to follow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start running around. So we're gonna start by running on the spot, then we'll go around in a circle and we're gonna stop and then we'll do a stretch, okay? So let's get going, let's run on the spot, guys. Run on the spot, that's it, let's get those legs moving a bit faster. Moving a bit faster, let's go really fast. And back it off, back it off, okay? Now around the room, let's go around the room. Okay, and stop. Okay, I'd like you to make your arms go backwards in a big circle. Can you see how I'm brushing my ears? That's it. One more, and let's go forwards. Good, and stop at the top. Can you do one each way? So one arm backwards, one arm forwards. Nice work, and stop at the top. Can you do the other way? Okay, let's go skipping, skipping around. And stop in here and let's go really high skips. And fast skips. And can we go backwards skips? And forward skips. Okay, and stop there. Standing in a star shape. And let's just twizzle. Can we put our hands around? So we want to be able to see our hand here. That's it, twizzle and hand and twizzle. Okay, and a star shape, and let's reach over and up, over and up, over and up. Over. Okay, this time let's kick our bottoms. So every time we take a step, our heels want to kick our bottoms. So let's go kick around the room. Make sure you keep kicking those bottoms. Good, and stop, so feet apart. This time we're going to reach the ground in, uh, in front, in the middle, and all the way through, and come back, but we're gonna go forwards, middle, through, up. Okay, we're gonna do it five times, are you ready? Forwards, middle, through, up. Forwards, middle, through, up. Two, forwards, middle, through, up. Forwards, middle, one more. Good, okay, this time let's do some high knees. Get those knees up, that's it. Going around the room or on the spot, it's up to you. Get those knees up, let's go the other way. Knees up, knees up, knees up, good. Okay, feet together, everybody's favorite, bob, bob, stretch. So down we go, bob, bob, stretch. Two more, bob, bob, stretch. And one more, bob, bob stretch okay this time we are going to walk around the room on our tiptoes and circle our arms okay 
All right, let's go. Walking around the room on our tiptoes and circle our arms at the same time. Make sure you're stretching up nice and tall. Right through your middle, right through your toes. Okay, and sitting down on the ground. Let's do pike fold. Stretch up and fold. And arms around. Stretch up and fold. Let's go three more. Stretch up and fold. And again, stretch up and fold. One more. Fold. All right, and while you're down there, lift your toes up and see if you can pull your heels up off the ground. So you can see sideways. We're pulling our heels up off the ground like this, okay? And see if you can get your noses down on your legs. Good work, okay. This time we're going to go around the room the other way on our heels. So we're gonna just walk on our heels. We look a bit like a penguin, walking on our heels. Good work, that's it. And you can do chest openers at the same time. So bent arms, straight arms, bent arms, straight arms, bent arms, straight arms. Okay, stop in there, sitting down on our bottoms. We're doing straddle, point our toes, sitting arms out. We're going to put one hand over and reaching over with the other hand, okay? But we're going to do it quite speedy and then one on each side and then down to the middle. So arms out, let's go. And over, out, over, out and down to the middle and hold and up and over, out, over, out, down to the middle and hold one more time and over, out, over, out, down to the middle. Who can get their tummy flat on the floor? Can you do it? Can you do it? Good try, I can't. Okay, and shake your legs. Good work. All right, this time let's go around the room like duck walk in duck walks. So bobbing down. And let's go. That's it. Keep going. Nice work. Okay, and stop in there. We're going to rock over our wrists. So hands down on the ground. And we're going to rock back and forth like this, okay? So you can see back and forth. Okay, turn your fingers to face your knees now. That's it, now turn your fingers outwards. I'm gonna rock back that way. And turn them in. Rock that way. Now can you turn them upside down? Good, don't put too much pressure on them. We don't wanna hurt our wrists down the other way. Keep trying to keep your elbows nice and straight. And then turn them in this way. And then turn them out. Now be very careful, you don't hurt yourselves. Okay, and shake them. All right, and for our last one, we're going to do pike fold walking around the room. So putting our hands as close to our feet as possible, we're gonna walk in a little pike fold, okay? Keep those hands flat if you can. If you can't quite reach, that's okay. Just reach as far as you can go. And stop in there, lying down on our tummies and pushing up like a seal. Good work and push back to seal stretch. I mean cat stretch and push back to seal. Looking over your shoulders and your feet together and push back to a cat. And last time, can you touch your feet to your head? Oh, I can't do it, but you guys can. And last time, push back to a cat stretch. All right, stand up, give yourselves a good shake. Are you nice and warm? I know I am. Right, we are ready to move on to our splits now, okay? So grab yourselves a quick drink. Um, our muscles are nice and warm. We don't wanna have too much of a break before we get started on our splits. And we're ready to go. Fab work everybody so far. So our bodies are nice and warm, okay? The next thing that we're going to do, boys and girls, is our splits. So we are going to start with, um, Oh, I think it'll probably be your left leg, but I'm going to start with my right leg, okay? So it's up to you, whichever one you start with, just remember which one you've done. All right, so we're going to put one leg in front like this. Just make sure that our toe is in front of our knee, okay? We're going to put our hands either side of our legs like this, and we're going to push our knee at the back so that we get it straight, okay? And we're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8. You should feel a stretch through here. 7, 6. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Drop your back knee down, push your front knee straight and try and pop your head on your knee, okay? And hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's push forward again. Remember this knee doesn't go over this foot. Lift your back leg and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop that knee. Push that leg straight and head down. Ten, nine. If it's not stretching enough, put your hands closer to your feet. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay? And we are going to slide as best we can into splits. Now, I have not got the best splits in the world, um, but you guys, I reckon some of you could get down. Okay? If you're just hold it nice there, keep pushing yourself a little bit, try and relax your bodies and go as far as you can. If you're down in splits, okay, you can lift your hands up or put your hands down here if you're nice and down. If you're not, just keep practicing and trying. We've got 10 more seconds. 10, 9, make sure your back leg's nice and straight. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And pull back. Give your legs a bit of a shake. And we're going to do the other leg. Okay, so putting our other leg in front. Push our knee forwards, but not so that it goes over our foot. Hands next to our feet. Push our back leg back and push up and hold it. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back knee down. Push your front leg straight and try and get your head on your knee. Hands a bit further forward if you need to. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, push forwards again and up. We can keep your toe on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And sliding into splits. This is my worst leg. Can you believe? Make sure your back leg is nice and straight. Sit up nice and tall if you can. Ten, nine, eight seven six keep pushing five four three two one well done everybody if you manage to get down in your splits if not that's something that you don't need me in a video to show you how to practice splits you can do it when you're watching tv you've got plenty of time at the moment so anytime you're sitting around feeling a little bit bored or watching a bit of tv or playing on your um tablets you could try sitting in splits or practicing them okay so let's stand up and shake our legs out Next, we are going to do our middle splits or our box splits. So we are going to do froggy. So knees down on the ground, hands in front, slide our legs out to the side, and we're going to put our elbows down. And as you can see, my bottom is level with my knees. When we're here, we're going to start rocking backwards. Okay, let's go 10, 9. If it's not um, stretching your muscles a little bit, push your knees a little bit further apart. Your legs shouldn't be able to go any further away. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hands on the ground, up to our feet. Okay, and sliding as far as we can. If we can go down onto our elbows, let's go to our elbows. Okay, I'm going to turn and face this way so that you guys can see. And ten, nine. Make sure your bottom is over, um, over your legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Some of you will be able to get your chest on the ground with that one. I'm not super flexible. And the last thing that we're going to do is find ourselves a line and try and pull in as far as we can. So we want everything to be in one straight line. Again, not my best, but let's hold it there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shake those legs. Okay, now we warmed up our splits. Again, that's something that you can practice on your own. You don't need me to show you to do that. Okay, and the better that you get your splits, um, the better your leaps and things will be in the future. All right, we are moving on to our bridges now, guys. All right, so grab yourselves a quick drink. Um, our bodies are still nice and warm from everything that we've done, and we're going to move on to our bridges. Hey guys, so we've got our bodies warm, we've done our splits for today, we are going to move on to bridges. Okay, so we're going to lie down on the ground. <coughs> Remember, we want our hands next to our ears and our feet next to our bottoms, 
and we're going to push up to a bridge, okay? We're gonna do the numbers counting system, so I'm gonna say one, you're gonna lie down with your feet and hands up in the air, just like this, okay? When I say two, you're gonna put your feet down and your hands down on the ground. When I say three, you're gonna push up to a bridge and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. If I say four, you're gonna try and get your knees nice and straight, which I can't do. And when I say five, you're gonna come down and we're gonna rock and roll our backs, okay? Now, I reckon that you guys can do that without me showing you because as you can see, my back is not that flexible, all right? So, but I will say what it is that you have to do. So, are you ready? So, lying on your backs, position one. So, we've got legs and arms up in the air. Position two, put your hands next to your ears, your feet next to your bottoms, but you can keep your feet apart. Are you in position? Number three, push up to a bridge. Now, make sure you see if you can get your arms nice and straight. You want to lock those shoulders out and we want to see if we can push our bodies up as high as we can, okay? Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and we won't straighten our legs this time, come down, and let's do our rock and rolls. Okay, good work, I'll do the next one with you. Ready, and position one. That's it, position two, feet apart, hands next to your ears, and position three, push up to bridge, and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, we'll skip position four, come down position five, and let's rock and roll our backs. Good work, okay? This time we're gonna add in position four, and we're gonna see if we can get our legs nice and straight. All right, so, ready, position one, feet and arms in the air. Point those toes, get your knees nice and straight. We want to have bodies ready for doing something really, really good, and if we set it up, so if we have nice fingers and straight legs and pointed toes, we know that we're going to do good work, okay? Position two, um, pop your hands down on the ground, put your feet next to your bottom. We can still keep our feet apart. Position three, can you push up to a bridge? Really strong, really tall. I want you to see if you can push your head and sh over your hands. So you're going towards your hands, you're pushing your body that way. All right, position four, we're gonna push our knees nice and straight. So we want really straight legs. All right, can we hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Down you come and rock and roll. That's it, okay, three rock and rolls. All right, we've got two more to do. This time, we're gonna see if we can get our legs together when we push up to bridge. This is a bit tricky, okay? And we're gonna see if we can get our legs straight again on position four. So um, if you're ready, let's go. Position one, hands and feet in the air. Don't forget, we need pointed toes and nice straight legs. Position two, feet on the ground, but feet together this time. Okay, arms ready to push. Position three, push everything off the ground. A little bit trickier with your feet together. Okay, position four, let's get our knees nice and straight as best we can. Hope you haven't toppled over. If you have, that's okay. Just push straight back up again and carry on. And we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Down you come and rock and roll, guys. Rock and roll, we've got one more to do. That's it. This time, you're going to stick your leg up in the air as if you were getting ready for a kickover. Now, if you can safely kick over and you know that you can already kick over and you've got nothing around you that you're going to kick, then you can kick over, okay? If you can't, um, then I would recommend that you just pop your leg up in the air and get ready for it, but we don't actually do it because we want to ma make sure above anything else that we're super, super safe, okay? So, position one, hands and feet in the air. Position two, feet together and hands here. Position three, push up to that bridge nice and strong. Okay, position four, get those legs nice and straight. Now, position five, this time we're gonna move one foot in and lift the other one that we would kick up in the air up nice and straight. Now, if you can do it, you can kick over now. If you can't, come back down and do your rock and rolls. Awesome work. Okay, great work on your bridges, guys. We are now ready to move on to some rotation. Obviously, we're limited by the equipment that we've got, uh, none, um, but we are going to do some fun stuff anyway. It's building some really strong foundations for what we're going to do when we manage to get back into class. Hope you're enjoying the class so far. Go grab a drink and we'll come back and we are going to do some leaps. So for our first rotation today, we are going to do some work on our leaps. Now, a leap is different from a jump, okay? A leap takes off on one foot, um, and a lot of the time lands on one foot. Jumps always take off on two feet, okay? Leaps generally travel, so they will move forward, sideways, backwards, um, and a jump is usually usually stationary, okay? So a jump, for example, a rocket jump, 
we'll go up and down on the spot, okay? Similarly with a tuck jump, so tucking our knees up, this is a jump, okay? Even a split jump, where we go, um, be careful I don't hit the sofa, split jump, okay, where we split our legs, it's still a jump. We go up and down, but we don't move. A leap is a little bit different. A leap, we trap. Okay, so what we're going to do for this one is, um, I've got a couple of cones, okay, but you could use pillows as markers, or just, or a toy, pop them on the ground. All right, so I'm going to put them distance apart like this, okay? And I'm going to imagine that that's a big puddle on the ground. So for a leap, our aim is to get over that distance in a kind of a split position, like this, okay? So we're going to travel, and we're going to go like this, all the way over. So just watching, we're going to go step where the first cone is and leap, okay? And we have to try and do that with pointed toes and straight legs, all right? I'm going to see if I can do it on a bit of an angle so you can see my legs a bit better, okay? So I'm going to start here, ready, and leap. Okay, and what we can do, we want to, um, we can make that a little bit further for ourselves, okay, and get a bit more of um, some power into it. You can do that with a what we call a chasse, which is like this, or you can do two or three running steps, one, two, three, and then go. Okay, so we're going to try that again. I'm going to do some running steps, one, two, three, and leap. Okay, now, we can see our front leg and it's easy to tell if our front leg is nice and straight, but we can't always see our back leg, or we can't, definitely can't see our back leg. Um, we can sometimes feel if it's straight, and other times we can't always tell. So what is a really good idea is if you've got somebody around, your mums, your dads, your brothers or sisters, they can tell you whether your back leg is nice and straight. So we're going to try it again. We're going to try and get a little bit higher and a little bit more split while keeping our legs straight and our toes pointed. Are you ready? Let's go, leap, all right? And I can't see my back leg um, to see whether it's straight. I would suggest it's probably got a little bit of a bend in it knowing me, okay? So um, another way that you can do it is you can give yourself a little bit of an obstacle to go over, okay? So I'm gonna see if my leap can go over this and leap, okay? The tricky bit there is to not kick it with your back foot. So making sure that our back foot is nice and up off the ground. If you want to make that harder, you can put a cushion down and make it higher. And leap. And as you can see, my leap has to go higher. We'll try one more. And as you can see, I've got quite a nice high obstacle. I don't know if I'll be able to get across this, but I'm going to try and leap up. And I didn't do that very well, but you guys can have a, have a little turn and see if you can get your leaps nice and high, okay? So we'll just go back to the start, back to the basics where we've got our cones, we'll make them a little bit wider, and we're going to try three more leaps and we're going to see if we can get up really, really nice and high, okay? Might go front on this time. And let's go, step and leap. Okay, and let's go again. Step and leap. Okay, one more. Step and leap. All right, boys and girls, so that was our leaps session um, within today's class. All right, hope you enjoyed that. That's something that you can do um, at home. You don't need me to tell you what to do. You can practice that. You can practice it in your garden. You can practice it down your hallway. Just make sure that you're not kicking anything and you keep your legs straight so that if your legs don't go off on angles and kick things, okay? So, um, getting ready, grab yourselves a drink, I need one, and we are going to move on to the next section of our class, which is dish and arch and rocking between the two, okay? Which is our fundamental shapes in gymnastics. Go grab a drink. So we've got three main shapes in gymnastics, um, guys, that, that we, that are pretty much in most of our skills, okay? We've got a straight shape, which is perfectly straight line, okay, a bit like our rocket shape. Um, that's a shape that we have in our handstands. Then we have an arch shape, which is our Superman shape, okay? And then the other shape that we have is a dish shape. Now this is where we tuck our bottoms, push our backs nice and flat, and we're in this shape, okay? You would have seen us doing those in class, you would have probably done them yourselves. Now they're Three of the most fundamental shapes that we do in gymnastics. And today we are going to practice those. 
um, we're going to be doing them in isolation. So we're going to do them one at a time. Um, but we're also going to be doing dish and arch rocks and then dish and arch rolls, okay? So we will start with our arch, which is the easier one of the two and the one that you guys probably know how to do. So it's a Superman. So we're gonna start with a Superman and we're gonna have our arms up in front. We're not gonna hold hands. We're gonna keep our arms nice and straight and we're going to have our legs together at the back. And we're going to hold this for, hmm, we're just gonna hold it for 10 bananas at the moment, okay? So lying down on your tummies. Ready, when I say go, we are going to lift. And I'll do it with you. Ready and lift. So we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Okay, and push back to the cat stretch, guys, because we want to make sure that we don't get sore backs when we're doing this. All right, we're going to do that again, and we're going to see if we can do it for 20 seconds. All right, are you ready? Lying down on our tummies and shuffle back. Ready and lift. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And down, push back to a cat stretch. All right, and now a dish shape. So we're lying on our backs. Okay, we can practice this by doing it with our knees bent to start with. So we just tuck our knees up like this. Okay, put our hands by our side. We're going to put our chins on our chest, lift our shoulders up, lift our hands up, but we're not grabbing onto our bottoms and we hold, that's a half dish. Now, if you can feel, your back should be pushed into the ground with no gaps, okay? So let's hold this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and down. And the opposite for this one, we push up like a seal to stretch ourselves out, so it's the opposite stretch. Right, sorry, that's a half dish, but a full dish, we have our legs straight. The important bit on a full dish is making sure that that middle part of your back is pressed into the ground. If you can't do this one with your middle, with the, with the middle part of your back pushed into the ground, go back to the half dish because it means you're not quite ready for it yet, okay? So, but we're going to try it with our legs straight. So, lying down, okay? Putting our hands on top of our legs like this. When I say lift, you're gonna put your chin on your chest, lift your shoulders up and lift your feet up at the same time. And as you can see, my back is pushed into the ground, all right? So when I say go, we're gonna see if we can just hold it for five seconds to start with. Okay, so lying down. Push that back into the ground, lift your chin to your chest, hands on your legs, lift your feet and hold. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and down. And don't forget, we've got to do our seal stretch, so push up like a seal. Okay, this time we're gonna do our dish hold for 10 seconds. All right, so lying down, hands on top of our legs. We're not grabbing our leggings, okay? Lifting our feet, lifting our chin to our chest and 10, push that middle back in the floor. Nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze all your muscles. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. And let's do our seal stretch. Okay, good work. All right, so now we've done our, uh, our arch and our dish. We are going to start at the end of the mat and we're going to see if we can roll from dish to arch all the way down the mat without our feet or our shoulders touching the ground. Okay, so it's going to look a bit like this. I'm going to start your dish. Just make sure you've got enough room. I'm gonna try it with oh, my arms up, but they might hit the sofa. And then we roll, arms up, and back over to a dish, and then to an arch, and then to a dish, and then to an arch. And I'm gonna go back Dish, arch, dish, arch, dish. Who managed that? It's quite tricky. Plus you also need a little bit of room. Okay, so just make sure you've got enough room to do it. I didn't quite have enough room for the full length of my body. All right. So um, we are now going to do our dish rocks and our arch rocks, okay? So get ready guys. So for our uh, for our dish and arch rocks, okay? 
So we're doing that position again, but we're going to make our bodies rock back and forth, either on our tummy or just on our lower backs. All right, so we're going to lie down, we're going to do arch rock first. We're going to, so you might need to give yourself a little push off the ground like this. Okay, so just try that to start with. See if you can do it with your hands down and see if you can rock on your bellies. It's a bit like doing the worm if you ever do the worm, okay? So we're rocking on our bellies like this, okay? And then we have to try and do it with no hands. So try and do it with no hands. Okay, and then we have to try and do it with our arms up in front. Okay, so we're going to just see if we can do five to start with. Ready? So give yourselves a little bit of push up and then legs together and arms together. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, five. They're quite hard to talk at the same time. Okay, so push back to a cat stretch. So we're making sure that we... Uh, Stretch our backs the other way. All right, this time we are going to do 10. So line on your tummies, get ready to push yourselves off again, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep those feet together, eight, nine, 10. Good work, push back to a cat stretch. Okay, and dish rocks are the same but the other way around. So we want to be on our backs. Okay, so I'm going to do it with my arms down because it's easier to get the correct shape with your arms down. If we push our arms up like this, our backs have a tendency to go into an arch and that forces the wrong shape for us when we're in our dishes. So we want to, um, we want to we're gonna put our arms down, see if we can get the right shape. So a bit similar, we're going to lie down, lift our chest and shoulders off the floor, our chin and shoulders off, the, our heads and shoulders off the floor even. Put our chin to our chest, lift our feet off, and we're just going to see if we can rock. Can we do that? See if we can rock on our bottoms and our back. But we don't want to go up and then back. Okay, it's not that big a movement. It's just like if you imagine a saucer on your kitchen bench top, going back and forth like that. It's, that's why it's called a dish rock. Okay, so just little ones like this. Okay, so we're going to do five. Are you ready? So if you've got your right shape, make sure you push your back into the floor. Let's go. One two, three, four, five. Good work, and we can go stretch ourselves out this way instead, just making sure that our tummies and our backs are stretching the other way. And to finish off with this rotation, guys, we're gonna see if we can do 10. So are you ready? Let's get your tummy muscles working. You can always ask your mum and dad to join in. Um, let's see if they can do it. I bet they don't, don't realize just how tricky it is. All right, so lying down, hands on top of our legs, we're going to put over 10 dish rocks and let's go one two the option of arms three four but we want to keep our shape five six seven eight nine ten great work okay so we've done dish and arch rocks we've done leaps the next thing in our rotations that we're going to do is some backward rolls you will need a pillow from the bedroom for this and a cushion from the sofa or from your bedroom if you have one. All right guys, grab yourselves a drink and we'll be back in a second to do some backward rolls. All right boys and girls, um, now just for safety reasons, we're not going to do actual backward rolls today, we're just going to do some preparation work for them. Some of you can already do them and if you feel comfortable doing them at home when you've already practiced them and you know that you can do them safely, then that's okay, you can go on. But for now, we're just gonna practice our shapes for our backward rolls, okay? So we get our pizza boxes hands, <clears throat> okay? And we're going to do a rock and roll, and put our hands flat on the ground, okay? So let's try that again. So pizza box his hands, roll backwards, put our hands on the ground, okay? Now, a backward roll is, the faster that you do it, the easier it is, okay? So what we're going to do, we are not going over, but we're going to put our hands like this. We're gonna sit down super quick without putting our hands down and see if we can roll backwards. So we go fast and hands down, okay? The faster that you can do it, the better. So are you ready? So practicing. We're going to practice sitting down with no hands. So practice sitting down. Oh, that's it. Without using our hands at the moment, we'll practice sitting down really fast with no hands. So sitting down and rocking back fast. That's it. And again, sitting down really fast. Push back. Good work. Okay, let's try that together. So we'll put our hands like this. Sit down really fast and put our hands on the floor. Remembering we can push the floor, but we're not trying to go over at this stage. All right, so sitting down fast. Push the ground. Okay, and try and control your legs, what your legs are doing with your tummy muscles. So ready, and sitting down, and push the ground. Okay, 
and let's do that one more time. Sitting down and push the ground. Okay, so that is our preparation work for buckle dolls. As I said, if you feel comfortable doing them and you know that you've done them before, put a cushion down and you can try them at home with your parents, um, but we're not going to do the full buckle doll in the class today for reasons of safety. All right, boys and girls, okay, we're going to move on to some strength and conditioning as the last part of our program. So we need to, to be able to do our gymnastic skills really, really well, we need strong muscles, okay? And to develop our muscles, we have to do strengthening exercises. So some of the things that we do in our classes will make our muscles stronger just because we're using them, but there are certain exercises that we can do which will make our muscles a lot stronger, a lot quicker, and we're going to focus on some of those today, all right? So get ready for your strength and conditioning exercises. All right, guys, so for our strength and conditioning today, we're gonna to focus on three main areas. We're gonna focus on our shoulders. Now we need our shoulders um, to be strong for things like handstands. Um, we also need our shoulders to be strong for bars. We need our strong shoulders to be strong for when we go over the vault. Um, we need our shoulders to be strong if we're doing things like forward walkovers, backwards walkovers, or backflips, okay? So our shoulders being strong is super, super important for gymnastics. Um, the, other, the other area we're gonna focus on is our core or our tummy muscles, and we're gonna work on developing those. Because if we've got a soggy middle like this, where it goes wibbly wobbly all over the place, um, or if we're very, very flexible, it's really hard to do good, strong gymnastics. So we have to make sure that these muscles are developed really, really well so that we can do our good shapes. So our dishes and our arches require us to have good, strong tummy muscles. Lots of our shapes, our handstands, um, lots of the things that we do on the bars and on the balance beam to have really good balance, you need good core as well. Okay, so we're gonna be working on our tummy muscles. And then we're also gonna be working on our legs and our bottoms. Um, our legs and bottoms are super important for our tumbling. So if we ever want to do somersaults or handsprings or backflips or aerials, we need really good strong muscles and especially our bottom, which is our uh, strongest muscle for when we take off for our tumbles. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is bunny hops, bunny hops in a row. Now bunny hops are really good for developing our strong shoulders. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 20. All right, in a row without stopping, okay? And I'm gonna see if you can do those. I'm gonna do them with you. Are you ready? So making sure your hands are nice and flat, pop them on the ground and we're going to kick it. And we're gonna jump up quite high, okay? We're not gonna do super speedy ones um, that we would do in a slightly um, less advanced class. We're going to do them nice and strong and quite high. Are you ready? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, don't know about you guys, but my shoulders are burning a little bit. Okay, how did you go? Did you manage to keep going for the full twenty? All right, this time, another exercise for our shoulders. We'll do two exercises each for those body parts, all right? So the next one, we're gonna call these mountain climbers. So we're gonna go into front support, bottoms down, and we're gonna go across like this, okay? But we're gonna do it fast, all right? And we are going to do, oh, let's do 30 of those. Are you ready? So hands down, nice front support shape. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Oh, yep, my shoulders are definitely working. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, so we are now going to move on to our tummy muscles. So we've done a bit of work today with our tummy muscles for our, our, um, our dish shapes. The next one that we're going to do is, we're gonna try some sit-ups, all right? Now, you can hook your feet under something, probably a bit heavier than what I'm using if you want to, or get somebody to hold onto your toes if you're struggling. But what we really want to try and do is put our hands on our chest and without anybody holding onto our feet, you slide down and sit back up again. You don't want to put your head flat on the ground. You want to make sure that your chin stays on your chest the whole time, all right? We're going to try 10, guys. Ready? So hands across our chest, and let's go. One, two. We also don't want to lift our bottom like this here to help us up. Three, four, keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work. Okay, this time we are going to try, we're going to sit on our bottoms, lift our feet off the ground into a V hold like this, but with bent legs. And we're going to touch the ground this side and touch the ground that side. This exercise will work these muscles called your oblique muscles and these are the ones that are down the side of your tummy okay and these are super important for our twisting and to make sure that our bodies can stay in a straight line so we are going to do 30 of these guys all right so sitting on your bottoms lifting our feet up and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Super duper. Excellent work. All right, so we've done our tummy and our core. We've done our shoulders. The next ones that we're going to do are our leg, leg muscles. Okay, so what we're going to do for this is we're going to stand and we're going to lift our leg up like this and back down again okay and we're going to do that 15 times on one leg okay so hands out or on your hips and we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and switch legs and one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good work. Okay. And the last one that we're going to do is squat jumps or frog jumps. We're going to squat down and jump up. And we're just going to do 10 of those. We just want to make sure we're not leaning too far forwards. Okay. And that we get our bottoms down low enough. We don't want our jumps to look like this. We want our jumps to look like this. So are we ready? We're going to do 10. Ready? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work. So that's your strength and conditioning done. Those are exercises that you can do on your own um, at any time and your bodies will get a lot stronger. All right, guys, just got a couple of things to tell you to practice before our next session and then we're done for today. Hope you're having fun. Okay, boys and girls, well done on today's class. You did um, a great job. <clears throat> what we want you to do now is to practice a few things ready for our next session. All right, so um, we've got a couple of things. So we want you to practice your leg hold. So you're going to stand, hands on hips, and I want you to practice holding your leg up for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, okay, you want to try and get your foot as high as your tummy when you do it. Let's go the other leg. One, two, woo, not as good this leg. Three, four, five, keep this leg straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you're really working your leg muscles when you do that, and it's also working on your balance, which we need a lot of on beam, okay? Another thing for which is really good for beam, but also for strengthening our ankles, is something called a releve hold. And if anybody does ballet, they will understand that. So we're going to put one foot, we're going to put our feet so that they join next to each other. So you'll see one part of your foot fits into the hole on the other foot, okay? And then we're going to lift up onto our toes. And we're going to keep our ankles glued together when we do this. Focus on something in front of us. Squeeze our bottom muscles and hold it for 10, 9, 8. I'm just going to turn 7 so you can see. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one okay practice that with one foot in the front and then practice it with the other foot in front so lift 10 keep your ankles together don't let them do this nine eight shoulders back seven strong tummy six five four three two one if you do have a balance beam at home you can practice that one on your balance beam okay the other thing that we want you to practice is your bunny hop tuck hold so with your bunny hops we might have previously done them like this we want you to see if you can hold them up a little bit in the air like this. That wasn't a very good one, okay? But I'm gonna show you again. As you can see, you, we hold it up in the air a little bit longer. If we can hold it a little bit longer again, see if I can do it. Okay, that's 
some really, really good preparation work for our handstands, okay? And we can do our bunny hop kick out to handstands, which was one of our skill workshops, all right? So that's the third thing we want you to practice. And then lastly, it's the dish hold that we did earlier today, okay? So maybe working on our half dish, where our knees are up, chin and chest off the floor, hands out, and holding for 10 seconds at a time. And that's going to work our tummy muscles, but we also need to make sure our backs are pushed into the ground so we can really learn that dish shape because it's quite a difficult shape to learn in gymnastics and, and to get it right, okay? So you've got a, thing, a few things to practice before our next session. All right, guys, so we hope you've had a really, really great time today. I want you to stop and think about your favorite thing, all right? And I want you to think about the thing that you really want to practice the most to get better at. So can you tell me those two things? What was your favorite thing? I think my favorite thing was... I really enjoyed the splits today, even though I'm not very good at splits, I felt like maybe my splits had got a little bit better today. And the thing that I really, really want to work on is my leaps. I would like my leaps to look a lot nicer. So I'm sure you guys have got, all got your own things. All right, so what we do when we finish is we present. So standing with our feet together on a line maybe. We're gonna step forwards and present. And we have really nice fingers, so let's do that together, ready? Remember, if your boys are doing it, you've got one arm up in the air instead of the two arms. Ready, one, two, three, and present. Thanks, boys and girls. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the class, and we will see you next time. Have fun, be safe.